But what exactly do you mean by subjective? It happens to be the opposite of objective, which is very important for a doctor to have, especially when dealing with a patient. Mm -hmm. And in case you missed the meaning of my drift, Sean Donnelly, that's it. I got your drift. Then fine, what's going on? Well, I really wish I could discuss it with you, but I happen to have rounds to make. I am your friend. I know that. I still have rounds to make. Hi, I uh, got held up. Sorry. No, no, that's all right. What's the news on Donnelly? Well, the judge is granted another stay and him going to jail. Well, I'm going to have a little talk with that judge. I'm a member of the board of directors of this hospital, and my position carries a great deal of weight. Edward, not when it has to do with medical matters, it doesn't. Oh, we'll see about that. Edward, Sean Donnelly stays in this hospital unless I or Monica say otherwise. Buzz? Edward, you're on your own. Of course I agree with Rick. Do I have to send, Felicia? You're supposed to sign the last two copies here. Okay, okay. Uh, you keep looking at that watch. Are you expecting someone? Yeah, Monica. Oh, that's right. She was supposed to go see the judge today, wasn't she? Yeah, she and Rick and Anna. Well, she could be an emergency. Oh, there's an emergency right here, Princess. Yes, but when I came in, they were paging her with some kind of heart code or something. Yeah, well, there's something. going to be another page for a heart code for me, and soon, believe me. John, you got to stay. All right, all right. Now, that is the news I've been waiting for. All right. Listen, I would have been here sooner. I'm really, I'm sorry. I know. Well, we uh, figured out that you were busy. Hi. Oh. Oh, Felicia. Well, hello. Uh, listen, I I really, I, I would have, I would have been here sooner. That's, that's I all right. I know you're a doctor and you have emergencies mm -hmm. to take care yeah. of. Well, I'm really happy for you. That's good thank news. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Look at, look at all this, all these papers and everything. Well, I had to bring them by for Sean to sign some things. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. It's glad there's a... You feeling up to doing some business? Well, I think he's probably finished for the day. Excuse me. And I think you're just anxious to get well, back home to Frisco, that's all. Yeah, well, that too. <laughs> yeah, well, how is uh, how does Frisco like being a police academy? Well, it's very <laughs> difficult, you know. Well, come on. After all that he's been through, that's going to be a snap. You think so? Oh, I know so. Well, I think he's really going to like you. And I know that he's going to graduate with honors. No doubt about that. Yeah. I'm going to tell him he said that. Good. <laughs> well, I think I'm all ready. Maybe I can get some Christmas shopping in now. Oh, Christmas shopping. Well, I don't even have a present for Lila, for Edward. <laughs> Edward? How could you possibly shop for Edward? Oh, no. He happens to be the easiest to shop for. I mean, here's a man who has everything. All he wants is one of the same. <laughs> more and more. <laughs> well, good night. All right. My best like... to Frisco, huh? Okay, I'll tell him. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, to be young and in love. <laughs> Monica. Hmm? To be any age, but in love. Yeah. Well, I have got to get some Christmas spirit working for me. Although that is not true. When I am with the children, they certainly give it to me, so I guess I can't complain. I wonder if I'll be in jail at Christmas. Oh, come on. Come on now, they wouldn't dare. Oh, well, I bet there are quite a few who would dare. Well, me. listen, maybe the governor will just have an attack of Christmas spirit and give you a pardon before Christmas. Oh, that would be quite a present, wouldn't it? Yeah. I really do hope you are out sooner than that. Although I do like the company here. You do? Yes, I do. And uh, I'm very grateful to you for seeing the judge. How was it? Well, let me put it this way. I don't ever want to see that judge again as long as I live. Not even for a parking ticket. <laughs> if you didn't go too far out on a limb. Well, I'm a little carried away. <laughs> thank you anyway. Oh, come on. There's nothing to thank me about. Checking on a wife. Mine. Yeah, I'd like to talk to her, too. This is Dr. Alan Quartermain. May I speak to Dr. Monica Quartermain, please? Sean Donnelly should be in that prison hospital right now. She did? Okay, thank you very much. She checked out of the hospital a few hours ago. He's nothing but a common criminal. 
You know, why, why Monica and Rick should be on his side, I'll never know. When that new mayor takes over, I'm going to have a little talk with him about that judge, too. Damn. You should be able to do something about this, Alan. What? Talk some sense into Monica. I understand she was very convincing with that judge today. I've got my own problems with Monica. If she hadn't pled his case so, so well, why, he'd be in the cooler right now. I can't dispute Monica's medical opinions or Rick's either. Uh, what other problems? What? You just said you were having other problems with Monica. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, what are they? Her whole attitude toward me. Well, you've been asking for it, son. Asking for it? Yeah, this whole middle-age crisis that you've been going through. It's not a middle-age crisis. Don't worry about it, Alan. You'll always be a boy to me. Can't help it. Can't help it if women find me irresistible. Yeah, I know, I know. I have the same problem, always have had. Sometimes it's a curse, sometimes it's, uh, you know, kind of fun. I mean, she, she's driving me away. That's what's making me crazy. Well, drive her back. What are you talking about? Alan, didn't we ever have a little talk about the birds and bees? Yes, we did, often. Well, don't tell me you're still trying to figure it out. Uh, Father, this is a very serious matter. Well, Alan, I'm trying to put it as delicately as I know how. Well, just say it. You said you couldn't do anything about Monica's stand on Donnelly. You saw what? Yeah, well, you can certainly do something about the other. Like what? You say you're irresistible to other women. Well? Well, good Lord, man, get it on with Monica. Then you're not exactly in a hurry to get home. Well, I just really stopped by to say goodnight. I should get home. Which isn't saying you want to get home. I have to get home. Uh, yes? Goodnight. Thank you for stopping by to say goodnight. around here in the dark. Waiting for my wife. Where have you been? Been at the hospital. Where else? No, you haven't, Monica. I checked it. They said you signed out a few hours ago. Well, yes, I did. I did sign out earlier. So where have you been? I had dinner in the cafeteria. Why? Because I felt like it. Then what? What is this? Well, why don't you answer me? <laughs> you don't give a damn about answering you, but okay, fine. I had to check on a patient. Which one? Oh, Please. Well, why don't you tell me? Because I don't think I need to, but all right. Fine, why not? Who? Marianne Coleman. I don't believe you. Well, that is your problem. That isn't mine. May I ask you a question? What are you doing sitting up here waiting for me? Because I think it's time I became your husband again. <laughs> Alan, what are you doing? I want you to come to bed with me now, Monica. Oh, really? you got to be kidding me. Oh, come on, Alan. You think you can just go and, and play around with every baby-faced nurse you can get in the linen closet, and then you can just come around and ask me to go to bed with you? I'm not asking you, Monica. I'm telling you. <gasps> You've got to be sleeping around. It's the only reason you'd refuse me. Alan, Alan stop it. Stop it. 
Stop it. I will scream. I will spell it. Oh, oh.